Uh, hello everyone. Um, I'm Steve from UK English Tutoring. In this video, I would like to invite Frida, one of the registered nurses uh, from UK. Um, she has uh, uh, initially failed in her couple of appearances in OET examinations, but she made it happen in her uh, recent attempt and she has even received her nursing registration as well and she started working as a registered nurse and I'm very happy to invite her for this meeting. And she's one of my favorite students because uh, she always applied all the strategies that I have taught to her. And uh, she has been such a wonderful personality as well. Um, and she has been always friendly, you know, and um, yeah, she, she has been chasing me, you know, every time, <laughs> like by sending the messages, hey Steve, is this okay or not? And I, I, I've been responding to her always on time as well. Um, <clears throat> So this is not just the, you know, the relationship between a teacher and a uh, student. It is uh, more than that. Like we have become like friends and uh, she has been volunteering herself to help other students uh, to achieve their desired scores as well by helping them acting as an interlocutor and so on. So firstly, I would like to congratulate her uh, for becoming a registered nurse. And um, Thank you. yeah, so it's, it's, it has been such a wonderful association with you. Um, uh, Frida, you know, for uh, over a period of time. And it was uh, such a less time that you have, uh, you know, prepared for the OET examination and you have achieved your desired scores in two appearances, isn't it? Like you have got uh, yeah. your desired scores and you have clubbed them together and you have become a registered nurse uh, now. And I'm very happy because, uh, you know, I've been feeling a sense of satisfaction. It's not, uh, you know, just the money that I get from the you know students, uh, but the sense of satisfaction that I've been transforming their lives. Okay, so I've been doing such a wonderful thing. Uh, I don't price myself, <laughs> but actually it gives me a sense of satisfaction that I'm helping, uh, you know, people uh, to change their lives okay so um, mm -hmm. if you are a nurse who has or a pharmacist or a, a you know doctor or anyone out of those 12 occupation and are struggling to achieve your desired scores here is a live example of Frida who has achieved her desired scores by uh, sweat tear and blood she made it happen uh, by working um, really harder by going the extra mile and now she is very happy. So firstly, I would like to welcome and uh, I would like to join others also to uh, congratulate her. That's the first thing. And then, uh, yeah, so Frida, could you please tell us about your journey? Okay. Thank you very much. I would like to thank you a lot because you've been, I mean, so helpful to me because uh, as you said, it was more than a teacher and a student relationship because um, always you're available. I can send you many letters, like everything, and you don't mind, you will correct it. And I was sending you my scores and your encouragement, as I said, it was so marvelous. Thank you very much. I'm so grateful. I do appreciate. So, um, as I said, I've been with a lot of tutors, but they don't really get time for you as teacher did to me because the others you go in, there are a lot of students, you, you send your letters, it takes time. And they are not really approachable. You know, you can send, say, even a WhatsApp message, and then he will reply at any time. Because that time I was doing night shifts, I used to send, uh, looking at the time difference, I used to send him a, a message very late, and he will reply. A lot of encouragement and all that. So that was very, very helpful. So my first um, say with the OET, I couldn't get the difficult, um, the ones that we all know that is a little bit of um, challenge um, reading. And even though I got uh, writing the desire score, but it was not that much. Yeah, but the reading especially. So one time I saw an advertisement on, Facebook. That time, 
he will assess your letter for you free. And uh, I think it was three days to my exams. So I couldn't, you know, start with him, anything like that. So I went in for this. So after the exams, I went after my results, then I now said, okay, let me just go back to him and give it a try. And to be honest, I don't regret at all because uh, the exams was not stressful for me. And because I was scared, I registered another one in addition. And all the exams, it was very, 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 I mean, straightforward for me because, you know, he will encourage you and then he will show you the techniques. You need the techniques to do this exam because we are working with time, especially writing if you don't know the techniques you will not get the desired score. I used to write a lot of letters to teacher and sometimes he will give me the mask and the, I said, me, I'm not even going to write in the letter to him because look <laughs> at my scores. Yeah. Sometimes <laughs> I'm not happy at all because little thing, he will pick it up. Little, and trust me, that is what is happening in OIT, like the real thing. When they are marking, I'm pretty sure that they take all those things into consideration. Yep. I didn't even get a B with um say before going to sit. I didn't get my last one was I think 340. Oh, so I said, okay, yep. finally, I've got a C plus. So that one I know definitely I'll get a B in the exams. Yep. So yeah. So and then what, what was the score in the writing section in the recent exam? Did you I think you got B grade, isn't it? In writing. The first one I got 300. Okay. That was C plus. And the second second one I got 350. Oh, yeah. That was a B. Amazing. And the, yeah, the other one, I think it was three, 370. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. It's yeah. like 300 to 350 and then all the way to 370. It was a great jump. Good, good. Yes. But I even listen, listening, I bought. Mm. Sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. And the listening, my first set, I got 350. Second set, 350. Third set, I got 390 in listening. Yep. 390, yeah. Oh, sounds good. Yeah, sounds and the speaking, really 380. Yep, sounds good. Sounds good. Yeah. And actually, I think the highest score I gave you for your writing section was, I think, 340 or 330, somewhere. Yes, around. I never got the B. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was so strict. I think yeah, Frida might have been disappointed sometimes. Hey teacher, Very why you are not giving answer. why you are not giving B grade? <laughs> I've been proofreading a lot and I have not been receiving B grade. You are so miser, you know, you, you are a miser. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I said me, I will not even join the class. Sometimes I get so bored, you know. Mm -hmm. I said, ah, you know you've you would think maybe that's the right thing. That's, I mean, it's on the paper, but sometimes little, little spellings and all that. Yeah, so um, I know it's stressful, it's difficult, it's frustrating, especially when you are working at the same time writing these exams. It's mm -hmm. my journey, but don't give up. Just follow the strategies. As I said, try and do something every day. But when you are tired, don't do it because the max will put you off. It will discourage you. Mm. So just try and do whatever you can every day. Even if it's reading parts B, three questions, that's okay. Part C question, you can do five questions. That's okay. But uh, don't be discouraged. This exam is not easy, but if you follow the strategies, you can be able to get your desired um, scores because they are not asking you to get all, but they have limits and they have um, borderline. So I'll urge you all just keep trust and all the strategies, use it. Trust me, it will work for you. We got. I don't even know how I can get 319 listening because listening 
when I was going to write the exams, I mean, I can score the part, say 24 by 24, and then part B, I'll get like five or six. Mm. The part C was a problem, but whilst you are doing it every time, it becomes so easy. Because my last listening, when I finished that, I, I said to myself, oh, this listening was so easy because I could literally hear and I mean, all the answers, I can just tell the answers of it. So don't give up at all in life. Don't give up. Just follow the strategies. Trust teacher and trust me, you are in the um, right place and we all, you all smile one day. And there is more sleep after that. So you just put in more effort and everything will be fine. And the letters to when teacher correct the letter for you, please try and learn the mistake so that you will not repeat it again. It's better to learn mistakes than to do a lot of case notes. That won't help. Your mistakes, you corrected the grammar, the verbs and the other things. And I believe everything will be fine. Yes. All right. Thank you, Frida, for your um, uh, speech. And I really appreciate it. And, <clears throat> you know, see, uh, there are two things that are required in order to help you achieve your desired scores. One is the trainer's guidance, the trainer's effective techniques. That's the first part, which is going to help you out to achieve your desired scores with a 50 percentage contribution. And then the second is your efforts. As a student, you have to apply all these strategies. You have to follow the strategies and get the scores. If you are stuck at anywhere, you have to let me know, let the trainer know um, that these are your problems. And then I, I was able to you know, go back and you know, back and forth everywhere so that we would be able to take even the group discussions as well in terms of reading, listening, and so on, like one uh, again and again. So it actually helps. And the other thing is I always recommend my students not to miss any session. Please attend the session. Every session is important. Sometimes you do learn something new from every session. And Frida was able to attend, I think, almost all the sessions, isn't it, Frida? But you have um, got the sessions yeah, only for two, have, two to three yeah. months. Yeah. You yes, got less time yes. to prepare, but you have attended almost Very all the Very less time. Sometimes I'll be at work, but then I'll be using, I mean, I'll try and join. Yeah, mm, it's true. That's right. And that's one thing true. is, if you have any problem and then you ask teacher, he's always available. That was the only, I mean, good thing that I liked. Yeah. Anytime that you, you want some extra explanation, he is there, so... Please try and I mean use use it very well because it's all hell. Yep, that that's right. Thank you, thank you, Frida. Um, I just would like to ask everyone to you know um, like shooting up the questions <laughs> against <to> Frida. <laughs> all right, let me start with the mini mall. Mini mall, would you like to ask any questions to Frida? Thank you, Frida. You are saying you are ever always available to help us. That's a good thing I noticed from you and your effort and the uh, decision, everything. Thank make you. you uh, make you a uh, registered nurse in UK. I'm very, thank you very much. Thank you. Hello, Frida. Hello, Minimal. No, that's Ledwin. No, it's, not, it's Ledwin. You're from which country? I can talk Hello. from Africa. Are you an African? Yes. From which part of Africa? Hello. From which part of Africa? Kenya. Oh, Kenya. I'm Mada, from Zimbabwe. Mada, Kenya, yeah. Yeah. Uh, how do you manage to pass with your accent? Because I think I'm struggling with my strong accent. I don't think they concentrate much on the accents. Because if you can hear, I speak like African, isn't it? Yes. Yes. So if you are able to communicate what they wa want you to communicate in such a way that the person that you are communicating to understands you, that's it. I don't think they mark assets. No, they don't. 
but if you are able to come to, if the, the person is able to understand what you are trying to say mm -hmm. that's that's enough okay yes because mind you this is um a, a, an english test they are not marking the accents and all that but obviously it shouldn't be too i mean strong it should be a little bit clear because like I'm talking to you, I understand whatever you are telling me. Mm -hmm. So yeah, accent is not, you know, we have some accent that you don't really understand what the person is trying to say. That one is different, but I'm communicating with you and I can understand you clearly. So that is enough. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. And for some students, you know, due to the influence of their first language, sometimes, mm -hmm. you know, if they speak faster, it would be really hard for the examiner to understand, you know, the Very, yeah, so, that one. Yes, you may need to slow down your speech rate a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hi, sir. That is my, my problem. Oh, okay. Yep. Cool. Yeah. Uh, Punit, Punita, yeah. yeah. So we have got yeah, Frida. Yeah. Yeah, she is one of uh, our registered nurses who has passed her examination already. Um, hi, Frida. Uh, yes, you can wish oh, her. Hi, how are you? Hi, 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 dear. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you too? Oh, fine, dear. Yeah, fine. Good. I'm on duty. That's why I, I can't be able to attend the uh, section now. Yes, if, yes. Hello. Whenever you are free, can you can you once more can, can you help me? Yes, whenever I'm free, uh, I will put it on the um. What's up, like, yeah, what's up, the group? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, free, the free. okay, yeah, okay, sounds good. Thank you. All right, Akila, would you like to ask any questions to Frida? So, Akila, you can, unmute. Hi, sir. yeah, please. Oh, ah, yeah. Hello. Hi. How are you? Fine, thank you. How are you too? Yeah, fine. Good. So would you like to ask any questions, Akila? No. No, is it all good? All right. Thank you. Um, may I ask Ishwari to ask any questions? No questions I really have asked to her. So. Yeah. yeah, and that's she has already right. received yes, the registration anyway as a nurse and she started working, so that's a good thing. Yes, I know, sir. Um, congratulations, uh, Frida. Thank you. Uh, thank you. No questions, sir. Thank you. All right, thank you. And Pumi, yeah, thank you, thank you. to ask any questions, Pumi. You can unmute it and ask her. Hi, Frida. Uh, uh, actually, yeah. I don't know what should I ask. Uh, uh, because uh, still I uh, didn't uh, learn about the speaking things. So anyway, congratulations for you. Thank you. Uh, okay, nice to nice to hear your voice as well. <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice to hear. hear. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right, um, Praveena, would you like to ask any questions to Frida? Hi, Frida, this is Praveena. And Hello. congratulations once again. Thank you. Your speech was so good. I'm really impressed. And it gives me motivation. It's really good. Thank you. I'm happy. Thank you. <laughs> OK, uh, you can, uh, could you help us uh, in your free time? Yes, yes, I will. Okay, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. I have no questions. Thank you. <laughs> All right. I uh, thank you so much, uh, Frida. You know, for your valuable time and your, uh, you know, efforts to help other students as well. <clears throat> I really appreciate it. You know, people like you are not available. You know, in great numbers around the world. You are such a kind and nice person. And I'm very Thanks. proud to have, uh, you know, such a nice student like you. <clears throat> and you were Thank always you. one of my stu uh, favorite students. Thank you. I know. <laughs> yeah. 
yeah all good um so first now what i would like to do is that i would like to disconnect this meeting and then uh, we'll go ahead with the one speaking role play conversation okay. all right uh would you guys be able to join back if you don't mind okay sir thank you thank you so much take care